Hi everyone, welcome back to U-Boat. Here we are on another patrol. We're heading into area CE, Charlie Echo. We're just coming to the patrol area now, so we're just going to give that a little flick, get some renowned. And we've had a, a message from the uh, headquarters that we've got a U-Boat down here, another friendly U-Boat, which is having a bit of a bother. So we are uh, going to head down here to see if we can um, help them out a little bit. Grand. So yeah, um, this isn't following on from the previous video. I've had to restart due to um, due to issues with save compatibility. So um, yeah, I've started a new patrol. We got the sector CE Charlie Echo, and we've just come out here. As you can see, we're building up our um, kilometers on, in in on the patrol. Uh, our reputation is zero, and our budget is only five thousand six hundred. Even though we sunk a couple of ships last time, doesn't count. It's not it's not continuous on uh, because of the uh, the restart. So, um, yes, last time we had to go and investigate why a U boat had gone uh, quiet, and obviously it found out that the uh, batteries been hit and caused all sorts of um, poisoning uh, for the crew. Now I had to scuttle the boat. And this time we've got a, a message to come and help a fellow U-boat out. So we're only, what are we there, 120 nautical miles. When we get a bit closer, you can see the captain sleeping, and everyone's sleeping apart from the radio man. Um, we've got some Radio Gibraltar, Radio Larachel. Which is okay, we'll keep that there. We've got the torpedo man getting the torpedoes maintenance all sorted. The captain is now uh, available, so we're just going to get a couple more crew onto the watch so they can spot them. It's coming up to. There we go. Hopefully, we'll have visual very shortly. Visual contact spotted. Let's send that for 150 renowned as it just comes out of. Um, there you go, that message has been sent. Boom, and that gets added to our thing. And here is the U boat. So let's head to it. And let's come out of map mode and uh, see our beautiful sub heading towards our friend and ally over here. So if we have a look at the captain, let's have a look at manual mode. And spin this around. Oh, then there she is, right at, right where she should be. Excellent. There we go. And we've got a new mission. Can send one of our men of, uh, to the mission nearby. Now, I'm guessing we got a message to say they were damaged. Oops. We just hit them. All stop. We don't accrue any damage, so it doesn't make any difference at all. Which is something that they probably need to uh, to fix. Well, there we go. So we're alongside our fellow U-boat here. Got the same insignia that we have. Oh, that's okay. Right, so here we go. Distress call. U-1170 called for help. According to the message, they need replacement parts from us. We should probably take them before we meet their crew, assuming that we want to share. Okay. Righty-ho. Let's get West, because obviously being West being the engineer Echoloid. makes sense for him to go across with... Um, Replacement parts. We have on board. Uh, the replacement parts will probably be down. Uh, putting a, a tube, a tube boat, a uh, torpedo in the tube. Let's head over to the um, storage facility near the galley. Here we go. We'll take five. Five should be more than adequate. Up we go. Right. Let's send West over then to investigate. Travel over to U1170. Off he goes. Whoops, it's a bit rocky start, but here he goes. He's okay now. Only a short dirigible drive over there. There we go. So he's just doing his investigation now. Chatting with the crew, see what's going on. Maybe if we'd sent a couple of guys with him, 
We can't do that now, but it might be a bit quicker. But it's not going to take too long at all. Hopefully we can get this U-boat back in the fight. And everyone's happy and we get a few more uh, renowned points for completing a mission. So I've been reading your comments. Thank you ever so much for uh, all posting them. As, as always, hit that thumbs up if you want to see some more. And I know to bring you some more videos very soon. Uh, distress call. Felix West was welcomed by the skipper of this vessel. After a short exchange of courtesy, the skipper got straight to the point and asked about the resources he asked on the radio tra transmission. Um, if we give him the replacement parts, we will receive... We will share one unit of replacement parts um, transported by Felix, and if not, nothing. Okay, well, let, let's do our duty and share the parts. The skipper thanked us for his help and promised to nicely mention the, us in the report to headquarters. Return. Nice. Okay, so we hopefully we'll get some uh, re reputation, 65%. Yeah. Nice. Fe Felix should be coming back shortly. Uh, we'll wait for him to get back. But yeah, thank you ever so much for your comments and, and things that you want to look at. So that's all pretty good. Uh, a lot of people saying, oh, this looks absolutely amazing. Uh, and yes, it does. It, it's got a great a great game right here and a lot of content to play. Um, also, I agree with many people who say it's not really... S it feels more gamey than simulation. Yes, they've got a lot of things simulated, but they're very simulation light. They're not, you know, they're not that detailed... Um, which I kind of agree on that. Wow, he's crazy on that boat. Look at him go. Right. Um, so, yeah, I, I agree with a lot of the comments that are being made. Um, I say it's still being developed, and they're still asking for feedback on the game, what they can change, what can they improve. Um, and, yes, um, crew management isn't everyone's cup of tea. It's not really mine, if I'm honest. Uh, I don't mind a little bit of it. Uh, one comment. I can't remember the... Uh, who said it but it was a uh, very very apt it says oh they've taken the um one of the most loved parts of silent hunter 3 the crew management and added a whole game of it and yeah and that's obviously a bit of tongue in cheek there um cool right so you 1170 should be good we are in our patrol route so let's um let's head up here and see if we can um find something to uh get our attention anything on the radio nothing on the radio good right discipline is a hundred percent let's have a quick look at the boat make sure everyone is behaving themselves and doing their duty as they should no one's standing about why is the captain in the uh, rear torpedo room I am not a hundred percent sure if I'm honest but if we take hold of him and um, distress call Oh, you 1170 called for your help. According to the message, they need replacement parts for us. We should probably... Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Hang on. Is this... Is, this could be a bug. In all, in all essence, this is going to be a bug because we've already been to you 1170. Langsamer. Okay. West. Head back on up. And see if... Uh, I don't know why this hasn't clicked over. And given us the uh, the all clear. Because we, we've completed this mission. But it may be a way to uh, quickly glitch some extra renowned. So where is the U-boat? She should be... Oh, she's there. Yeah, we're a little bit far away from her at the moment, so... Um, forward, and... Uh, no, look, she's, she's, she's off. She's off on her way now. Okay, cancel that. Cancel that. I think that's all good. Yep, you, you 1170s. That's just an old throwover, I think. Okay, good. We don't have to worry about that. Grand. And West has gone back to his job. Brilliant. Right. Um, that's all good. We've got the crew on the watch, which is what we wanted. Right. We'll get these two separated. There we go. U-boat's going the separate way. It's fantastic. She's okay. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. We've been on our patrol. We've got chimney smoke. Chimney smoke? Chimney smoke on the horizon. So, 
Um, we got a freighter. Let's have a look. They are. This vessel has been alarmed and is ready to fight. Damn. We kind of stumbled in on them. Right, let's. Captain, I need you up, sunshine. I need you in the uh, on the bridge or in the conning tower. Wrong way. This way. Let's get you on the uh, attack scope. And we can sort of plan some stuff out. Right. Captain is on here. Let's go to manual mode. And, oh, I hate that. I hate that one. Um, that one? Better. Right, so we've got... Where's the ship? Right, there she is then. So what on earth is that? It's a freighter, obviously. She's got very long points here. Let's lock onto her then. Okay, there's not that many ships in game by the looks of it. So, she's got two masts and a single funnel. I'm reckoning it may be uh, an Emperor Tower. Or maybe an Emperor Bell. It's difficult to tell from here. Hmm. Should we get any more information? Let's have a look. We can maybe cheat and go in here via the um via the thing. Oh, okay, so she is Let's come out of that. And go back to manual mode. I reckon. Empire Bell? Yeah, Empire Bell. Recognize. So, we've got her as an Empire Bell. Uh, and she is. Velocity is 5. Um, let's get the Stadometer up. And we can do this. Oops, hang on. Try that again. Let's um, get this. And what we do is put the. Now that we've got her mast height, we put the the ghost image as uh, to the top of the uh, highest point, which is uh, there or thereabouts. It's very difficult to do, but there. We'll set that, and there we go. So we've got her course, and we've got two nautical miles, which is the range. So we've got all the targeting information we now need. Good. So if we leave position, um, we now have, there she is, unknown, similar to the Empire Bell. Good, right. Let's go forward. So yeah, there's some nice touches, especially the Stadometer to get the range. I like that a lot. That is very nice. Um, range, what do we have the range? These are orange, so these aren't perfect, I don't, I don't think. Uh, what we can do is uh, let's go back to the captain who's gone to bed. As per always, let's go and have a nap. We're just about to go into combat. Of course, right. And uh, we'll go and get the deck gun in action because a lot of people said, oh, let's get on the deck gun. Uh, it's, we had a quick look at it last time and it wasn't my favourite because it didn't have any um, real detail on it. So, let's um, manual mode, please. We've got armor piercing loaded. Um, no, let's switch that over to high explosives. Uh, no idea how we're going to supposed to find the range on this thing. So, let's just pick a spot and fire there. How's that looking? Gone wide of the mark and splashed down. Right, hang on. Legen Sie den Kurs so the ship's now in range. Armor pierce in. No, sorry, high explosives are loaded. So let's get some shots onto this deck. 
bit choppy at the moment. Where did that go? Do we hit it? It's difficult to tell. Again, don't know. We must have hit it, I think, but again, very difficult to tell. Ah. Uh. Okay, there is a black mark on the hull, so we must have hit it. Can you see the black mark there? Let's try and get the deck so we get some fires going. It's got very few in the way of um, shots here. Can we uh, slow down a bit? Langsamer. Okay, so we can get this. Uh, Bridge on fire. Um, seems we have no discernible effect on the boats. Fire on deck. Fire on deck. Okay, finally, we've got some fires going. Brilliant. And that's another good hit. Okay, the mast is down. We're getting some good hits. There's, there's no visual feedback that I'm hitting it apart from obviously the fires breaking out. Ah, there we go. So that was short because we got the, uh, the splash. And I saw a puff of smoke then. So and she's gone. She's gone. Okay, so here we are. We've finished the 2,000 kilometers in our patrol. Uh, an assignment was completed. We got one help request, but one help failure. Okay, maybe we did need to go back to U1170 to help them out for a second time. Uh, we're generally impressed with the scope of success of this assignment. We wish you and all your crew the best. Headquarters, tonnage sunk. There we go. 5,766. Four days, blah, blah, blah. We get um, 10,000 monies and 50 reputation. We'll accept those. There's a U-boat back there. Um, we're not going to bother going to say hello. Let's let's head up here to the western approaches. See if we can get into any action or any uh, mischief up here. It's all looking lovely on a lovely sunny day. Look at this. Uh, discipline is 90%, which is all good and groovy. And with 40,000 budget and uh, we've got level 1 reputation, 15%. So obviously 15% to level 2. So we've got potentially one favour we can call in, I wonder. If that's what it means. Uh, so we can go to the uh, leading officer and maybe get some uh, some bonus points. Right, we've got the crew on the, the deck gun, which is... Oh, we've got a we've got a, a thing going on here. Scanning re radio frequencies. Let's leave that position. Actually, I didn't want him at all. Where's the captain? Let's get the captain. What is going on down in the down here? I can't click the ladder, which is a bit. There we go. Climb down. Got an exclamation mark down here. Here we go. It's Dietrich. Burnt scrambled eggs. Oh, not again. Several settlers have complained about meals prepared by. Uh, Dietrich, um, the ship's cooks shakes with fear, aware of the purpose of my visit. After all, he wasted a large part of the rations. What punishment would you be appropriate for him? Right, we'll put him on toilet cleaning because you know it's it's not a big deal. Now I know a lot of you were disappointed to find that you know some of the things that they've removed from the game and they kept these kind of little um, micromanagement things going on. Look, we've got another one there. Go on, Captain. We've got another crew member wasting time down here. Let's get there. There you go. He's a sleeping sailor. We're going to get him arrested. And I know a lot of you are quite excited to be able to execute the odd crew member. And uh, Maybe we'll do that next time. You get a warning and the second time you just get executed. There you go. Here goes the Captain. Here, Kaloin. Going to get the waking other uh, sleeping sailor.
You're under arrest. You have time to think about your entire life. Okay. So our discipline is now 100%, which is uh, looking grand. Sweet, as we sail along the uh, the Atlantic. Right, we're going to press on then, and uh, hopefully we'll come along across something interesting. Anything? Nothing interesting from the uh, the radio so far. Hi guys, right, we've run into three ships. Uh, we've got the Pegasus Freighter, which has been identified. And they're sailing along there, plus two others. Okay. So, um, Captain, he's in bed. Brilliant. Uh, who who do we have up here on the... Um, I can't get any officers. Right, uh, Captain, you need to wake up. I will send the captain. Oh, this this is good, but this camera is a bit clunky sometimes. Right, send the captain. Ah, stop going back down and put him on the targeting site. We should be coming up the areas. Right, so. Um, the Pegasus, the freighter, okay, good. Right, so if we um, select the captain, go into manual mode. Where are, oh, there we go. We've got a uh, Canadian ship there. British ship there. And Swedish, I think. Right, let's have a look. Where are they? So that's the Pegasus we're looking at. Let's go manual mode, yep. Yeah. Oh. Let's deselect them again. Right, so we'll select the Pegasus first of all. There we go, good stuff. Um, let's work out her uh, range. Where's the stuff? There it is. So let's get this up. Oh, it's slightly nauseating, isn't it? There we go. There's the top of the sail. There. Set. There we go. So that's the one nautical mile away. Now, the chronometer, we can set the... So we put that to the front of the ship. It tells you down here. Put it to the front of the ship, and when it sails over, you start. Now we've got to wait for the whole ship to go through that. And I can tell you, she's not going particularly quick. And this should calculate velocity and also the uh, the bearing. Normally you just do this for speed. Oh god, she's not very quick. Halfway there. I know straight away one of the things you're going to pick up on is that the lack of uh, different models of ships in game. Now I'm not sure if that increases, you know, as we get further into the war, but um, I know a lot of you will be disappointed what's there so far. It's not to say that new ships will not be added later, but um, at the moment, yeah, there's not much. Right, we're almost there. Waiting for the end of the ship to pass. And we're there. Boom. So there's the speed. And then we do the course. Um, we can set the course. Uh, so she's going like... Let's have a look what she's doing. She's not very accurate at all. Like that. Roughly, I would say. Um, now what I will do, I'll just ask... So we just select on the Pegasus. So this is what I calculated at. Let's just ask the captain Torpedo to um, double check that. That was 50% of the way there. Which is surprising. Right, we are 92%. So I'm going to flood tube Bewässern. 1.
flooding now. Fire. Pedo away. And we'll start targeting these ones up here. Good, so the Pegs is... Uh, oops, sorry, wrong one. Now let's do that. I want to set the camera angle. So, uh, she is heading away from us. Let's get that out of the way. There you can see us on the horizon. Ship uh, torpedo coming in here. It's not going to be the best angle. You can't see anything under the water. Obviously, the sunlight is is actually increasing. It's uh, 10 to 4 in the morning. How are we doing that torpedo? Discipline is dropping to 88%. Too much work from the officers. Oh, they're a lazy bunch, aren't they? There's that torpedo. Okay, it should be on its way almost. Ah, we missed. Damn it. Okay, we didn't calculate that correctly. Okay, we're coming alongside the the Canadian one, so let's just jump on the deck gun as we're here. Oh, God, I missed it. Let's get some deck gun action in. We all like a bit of deck gun action. We'll go into manual mode if he lets us. There we go. Um... Right, so we got one high explosive left. Let's fire that. Boom. Armor piercing now loading. Let's get some... Okay, you need to be close to actually see these hitting the ship, otherwise you've got no chance. That's short. We are going far too quick. Slow down. There we go, better. We've only got 10 shots left, and we're not doing particularly well with this. Now that was into the bridge. That's not very good. We're trying to hit the uh, waterline. Ah, oh, we're bouncing up and down. This is very difficult. I'm sure you'll think you're going to be masters, but uh, it's never that easy. Another hit, but a bit high. Okay, we're slowing down nicely now. There we go, that was a bit better. Towards the waterline. It's a short where we wanted to hit. And then we're bobbing all over the place now. It's a bit high that one, but we still hit it. Uh, a couple of shots, so he doesn't want to just fire away. Fire on deck. There we go. Hit the funnel. She's burning away. A couple more shots. Let's just fire him into the superstructure. Okay. Can we fire some star shells at them? Oh, she's well ablaze now. There we go, lovely. Right. New position. Unknown group. New contact. Okay. Get on there. Good. So that ship is sunk. Happy days. Well, it's burning anyway. Um, we've got the Pegasus over there. Is it great because we're not allowed to sink it? Right, let's get this one. Let's get him to let's get him Torpedo to calculate it this ausrichten. time. Save me making any mistakes. I wonder if that's that's because it's not red. It's still a friendly style ship at the moment. That could be interesting. Right, so set so up intercept course. Let's get the old uh, speed going. Schneller, schneller. Okay, look at this beautiful 
early morning. Uh, let's just slow down. Torpedo. Torpedo. Ship behind us. Um, all locked in. Let's get Torpedo Tube 5 plugged in. We've got 100% um, calculation by the captain. Flooded and fire. Our torpedo fired. Right, let's have a look at the uh, the Empire Lancelot. So you got a torpedo coming straight in from our ship. Nice, 90 degree angle. Should be fairly straightforward. Ten seconds to impact. It's a hit. It's a good hit, and she's on fire. So that's two of the ships gone. Discipline is dropped to 58%. Oh, this, you know, this crew management is not my favourite thing. I'll be honest. It's not. I kind of, you know, I do. I don't. I don't mind a little bit of crew management, but I don't want to do everything crew management. I want to just do a little bit more. Have we got anybody kind of like faffing around? What's this guy doing here? Don't know. Uh, to tell us why our discipline is dropping. The alarm is minus five a minute, and normal lighting is plus. I don't know what it's calling then. Anyway, that is the ship burning brightly behind us, looking fantastic. Okay, so down here we've got the Pegasus, who's a Swedish boat, and obviously I think she's not red because uh, I believe Sweden were neutral for the entirety of the war, weren't they? So um, I guess we're not allowed to attack her, uh, which is fair enough. It's fair enough. We don't want to uh, cause any political issues. So uh, with 40,000 budget, oh, we didn't get... We didn't get a radio message to say that this one is sunk and we didn't get any points for it, but um Ah it doesn't matter. It's all looking good. I might start heading back to base. We've got um fifty percent fuel. Uh so we might start heading that way. See if we can run into any uh ships going back to the UK uh and see what fun we can have. So yeah, another another good another good kill already sunk beneath the waves and uh, we're going to get moving schneller, and hopefully schneller. find something along the way. Fantastic. Hi everyone, we've got potential contrails coming in so um, let's get grab the captain, let's man the uh, the MG. Alright, we've got a manual mode. So I'm probably a better gunner at there we go. What is it? It looks like a Sunderland. Let's get this rearmed quickly. Not the best uh, anti-aircraft gun we've ever seen, but um, it does it does the job, I suppose. All right, is she going to start her attack run? I suspect so. Uh, let's go to the greatest speed and let's schneller, turn schneller. manual mode, please. Oh. Reload quickly, 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 quickly. Returning, returning, returning. Got it. We've got the engines. Don't drop the bombs. Don't drop the bombs. Okay. Trying to get the engines. Keep an eye on her. She's, she's getting there, she might be going in. She's going in, but she's a seaplane, so she might be able to. Nope. No, that's not the best landing. Ooh. Okay, good stuff. Right. 
Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Sehr wohl, Herr. So dann. Langsamer. Leave position. Excellent. Good. Disaster averted. And we've managed to. Uh, She already sunk away. Nice. Okay, good. Do we get any radio guys in bed? But I wonder if we can send that back to say that um, we just sunk a uh, an aircraft, which has gone brilliantly. Probably not. Let's uh, continue on then. Excellent. Hi, guys. Welcome back. Right. May 29th, 1941. We are coming in to port. Back into La Rochelle. Nice. It's a bit, bit murky. We've got the spotlight on, but I can't quite see where we dock. Or how we dock. Um, we are coming in. Uh, let's just... Full stop. There we go. We're in dock. Okay, that we all just get close and it automatically docks you. Nice. Good. Right. So, it would seem... Um, that those kills we had outside of the search area, the patrol area, we did not get any credit for. So that's interesting. So, um, yeah, if you don't sink anything in your patrol area, then you don't get the credit for it, it would seem. Or you don't get the renowned or the budget for it. Right, so if we have a look at the recruitment. Uh, show me their files. Right, so we can, we've can got 41,000, so we can hire loads of uh, new people he's uh, he's too big for his boots apparently so they'll need more boots he's a weirdo uh, he counts on a rapid promotion in the military hierarchy okay he's a weirdo okay um, a handyman let's recruit him Gunter Gunter Becker uh, cleans his shoes every day that's the kind of guy I want he plans to build his life in the Kriegsmarine. Welcome aboard. Right, we've got a few guys there. So should we continue to? Favourite colleagues in the back. Yeah, okay. Hans Schneider. He's a weirdo. Welcome aboard. Right, that's a, a few more crews um, sorted. Uh, let's choose the crew. Open up the crew ma ma management. Ah, okay. Oh, I see. So we can assign people out and assign people in, can we? Oh, here we go. So we can have... Oh, I see. Medic. Has he got any medical skills at all? No, he's a radio officer. Okay, let's go on to the radio officer then. Um, It does actually say radio man there. Nice. Okay. In the offing. Right, over to the warehouse to get supplies. Let's have a look. First of all, we need some fuel. So let's... It's um one renowned. So let's fill her up. It cost us 108. Yep, refuel. Brilliant. Let's have a look at torpedoes. We have four spots. Five spots. So let's get some uh, T1s. Because they're cheap. And we'll get a T1 in there. Nice. Equipment wise, uh, we've got four spare parts. We need some ammo, don't we? We've got med kits. Should we get a couple more? Uh, should we get five of them? Oh, that gives us one. Okay, fine. Food-wise, we've got 40 cheese. Let's get some exotic fruit, shall we? Let's get some... Um, how much are they? 180. Let me, let's not get that. Let's get uh, 10 exotic fruits. And we'll get some... Canned bread. Canned meat, I think. Uh, canned bread is cheaper. And let's get some of that. Nice. Uh, ammunition. Let's get some more of this. 14,000. No, let's not spend 14,000. Let's spend... Let's get 100 shells. 103 shells, 1,500. Let's do it. Can we transfer them together? Uh, they won't mix together, which is annoying. Um, oh, what's this? Small arms. Small arms may be useful for officers going on dangerous missions aboard. Let's get some of those. Uh, let's just get one. Because they're quite expensive. But we get um, a Schmeiser and, and uh, a Luger as well. 
Uh, cups of tea we've got, gas masks, air, air masks we've got. Okay, we've got all that. Good. Let's have a look at upgrades then. So, um, we were going to have a look at the listening room, weren't we? Well, the radio room, we can... We need to research to unlock this upgrade before it's available at in headquarters. Oh, okay. Interesting. The pipe. Oh, that needs to be researched as well. Okay, they're not simple buy to upgrade, it would seem. Okay, let's go back. Upgrade seems to be out of the question at this time. Let's leave. Goodbye. So if we go into headquarters... Uh, click to start a new operation. Ooh, what is this? So we have G7E torpedoes, armored conning tower, military stash, snorkels, um, metox radar detection, military stash. Anything else? It's just no, these ones. We've got uh, equipment pro production, improved toilets, uh, hydrophone. Ammunition production. Hydrophone would be good. So, the KDB. Uh, while our current GHG hydrophones are very effective and outmatch enemy technologies, they don't ensure full direction coverage for listening. A group of engineers created a simple prototype device. It carries a set of microphones able to rotate around one axis. It seems to be a very promising project, but still needs work before the integrated on our U-boats. Requires a radio man. Okay, we've got... It's, um... Can I not select... Oh, yeah. Okay, we'll select him. The radio man we've just got. He's got 71 hours, 59 minutes to get that done. Do it. Okay, so he's back up there researching that. Excellent. I guess we can only research one thing at a time. Yeah, it would seem so. Okay, that's interesting. So you have to do some um, R&D. So it's feeling very much more like a management game than a than a than a simulation, if that makes make if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, thoughts and comments as always. Let me know in the section below. If you want to see some more, as always, please hit that thumbs up. So yeah, anything you want to see, let me know, and I'll see what I can do. Right, we'll leave it there. Thanks ever so much. I'll bring you some more U-boats very shortly. Uh, so stay tuned and make sure you're subscribed to get the latest video release. I'll see you next time.